morning, sir. You have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. And miss the World Series? Not gonna happen. <laughs> confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations. Oh my god! I'm not giving you Sean! Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you? A bit over 210, actually, so... Sean's been kidnapped. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Glad to help. Uh, that... Your son's energy. He's alive. So, Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? <laughs> Anybody? Sanctuary it is. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. And no one told you life was gonna be this way You went inside a vault, you're 200 few years late Seems like you're always stuck in the future When you went inside the vault and then it's been 200 years But I'll be there for you When the rats start to come out When the raiders all swarm, I'll be there for you Cause you're there for me too It's been a long road, but yeah, I think this is it. Oh, oh. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. I knew you'd join us here, kid. Your energy is tied to this place. I used to live here a long time ago. <sighs> the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. No. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Kid, listen to me. I'm old, even older than you think. If the Kims are gonna kill me, then I say I've had a good run. We would have never made it this far without the sight. We need it. You need it. It's part of who I am. The sight isn't worth killing yourself over, Mama doesn't have to define what you are, or what you can give. It's oh. my decision, kid, not yours. Now lay off for a while, will ya? Do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. You guys have been through hell, huh? You have no idea. In these past few months, we've lost everything. My son, he's... He's gone. Oh. What was his name? Kyle. My son's name was... Kyle. I understand how you feel. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. If I told you I'm with the Minutemen, would you still want to shoot me? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traitors, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, man. You folks are for real this time. It'll be a welcome change for the better. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, scammer. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, alright?
Just don't do anything crazy. I'm calling it right here. This world can officially bite my ass. Hey, we all got problems, all right? I'm just trying to collect on what's owed to me. Don't suppose you feel like helping us out. Maybe you talk some sense into Trudy over there. Who's Trudy? See that diner right in front of us? Trudy owns the place. She's converted it into a small shop. I sell her chems, she gives me caps and parts I need. And when her son Patrick had his 18th birthday, I might have sold him some jet. Then some more. Then a lot more. Now he's in debt. Scumbag. You made him an addict. Yeah, yeah. Look, he wanted a product, I sold him a product. And I expect to get paid for my product. Now you gonna help us out or what? Never take a hit at Jad again, I swear. <laughs> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. those raiders yeah I kicked their asses for you no Tim. that's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time so we've been talking we decided if you came through for us we'd join up with the Minutemen again if we want things to get better we've got to start helping each other oh. so we're in I hope the color of my energy is blue <laughs> that's good Humor is a good way to cope, because this world ain't yours, is it? I saw you leave that icebox. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. No. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Kid, listen to me. I'm old, even older than you think. If the chems are gonna kill me, then I say I've had a good run. The sight isn't worth killing yourself with, Murphy. It doesn't have to define what you are, or what you can give. All right, kid. You got me. If me hanging around for a little longer is worth that much to you, then I'll go clean. No more chems. No more sight. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby minute. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? What was it? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other? and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. Aww. You saw how it ended? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds.
but that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Mr. Garvey is quite right, sir. If anyone can unite the people, it's you. Well, what makes you think I can do this? You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Okay. I'll do it. That's the spirit, sir. And one giant step in the right direction for the Commonwealth. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen. And the Commonwealth, too. Aww. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way. General. So, if I'm a general, where's my army? You're looking at it, I'm afraid. But I wasn't joking when I called you that. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Sweet. I was unaware one could do that with bobby pins. Picking up on the right side. I don't think we've met yet. It's not exactly paradise, but what is, right? With some hard work, I think uh, this could be a decent place to live. Any place oh. you want me to pitch in? Did you need anything? Well, to be honest, we're a bit short of food. Anything you could do would be appreciated. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. Oh. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. I'm sorry. <laughs> But Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <laughs> you. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. <laughs> Why don't we ask the newcomer? Do you support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. 
Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. <laughs> Another Sino evil type. You'll fit in just fine with all the inept guards. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Oh. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. I guess we'll see. This is ridiculous. Diamond City security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates anything? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um... Stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. So, this is the famous Diamond City. I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. <clears throat> you? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. One Statue of David impression coming up. Good. Good. Now just to answer me one simple question. Are you human? Because I will not serve a synth. No, I'm Jangles, the moon monkey. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well... They're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. Shit. All Tell, me Tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. Yes? Only one thing worth buying in the dugout. And that's the boot. Just a minute, Yetim. I am in middle of a story when out comes the, the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A Meyer Lurk! A Meyer Lurk? Come on! That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. You want to talk something really dead. This is bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid, I kid. <coughs> he is dead, though. Okay. Well, let me know when you're ready to order. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> Don't move, sir. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a sin. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Sith! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no Synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. Hey, who hasn't engaged in a little friendly attempted fratricide in their life? I'm, I'm not a Synth, I, I told them, I, I kept telling them. I need you to step away, Scabber. Why the glum face? I thought random murder was routine around here. You shut your mouth. We're risking our lives every day to keep assholes like you safe. Now move along. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? My favorite ballpark's become a shanty town. So, today's been great. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the pip boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Here's your headline. Local man says no. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? 
It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned carnivorous. Okay. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Behold, I am immortal. You know, I guess you kind of are, aren't you? Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one, but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Oh. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before, didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Neon sign with a heart? You sure he's not running a brothel? <laughs> that would be hilarious, but no. No, Blue, he's on the up and up. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next.